Welcome to Lock Picking Legend. And yes, you are watching Lock Picking Legend. And today we're dealing with the SFIC, the small format interchangeable core. Is there a big format interchangeable core? No. No. Is there a medium format? No. I imagine they just didn't want to call it a thick or an ick. <laughs> but this is a cracking video. I know nothing about these. <laughs> I know nothing about these locks. And that's what you want from a lock picking channel. Ignorance. But I decided to find out. I do cut it in half. We do get a cross section. And if you wait to the end of the video, I have got a massive channel announcement. You don't want to miss that. So before we get anywhere, let's have a little look at the key system for these things. So this is a best SFIC. There you go, standard paracentric keyway. N note that little bar on the side there. So this is the operation key. This actually opens the lock, it turns the plug. So if you put that in, you'd get your lock open. This is the control key. Now look how different they are. Which tells us there's three pins in every pin stack in that lock. Because if, these, if both these keys do something in that lock, there's got to be three pins in every pin stack. So, oh, it's unlawful to duplicate that key. So don't do it. It's unlawful to duplicate that one. <laughs> Is it? I don't know, maybe. Or maybe not in England. You don't see a lot of these in England. So anyway, let's put in the operating key. We pop that in. We pop that in. And there you go. That's your lock open. Okay, that would open the lock. Very simple. You get the idea. No problem. But the control key does something completely different. Check out the bar on the side. When I turn that key, that bar, which you can see, is attached. Look, it moved in. And when you do that, you can pull that sort of double plug unit out of the lock. See that bar? Okay, but if you can pull that whole double plug out and stick a screwdriver in, <laughs> you can still get in the lock. But it allows you to replace the core um, if need be. I mean, if anyone knows why, if this is what I, 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 these don't make much sense to me, it seems over engineered. There you can see the whole mechanism, there you can see the three pins I was talking about. And the control section there was in red. So you get the idea. I also want to just say a quick hello to and a welcome to all the new subscribers. And a hello to all the regular subscribers. This channel is flying. Is because no one else does what we do. Uh, no one else cuts locks in half at the the way we do. And no. And this video, I will do that because I needed to find out what was going on in this lock. But here we go. Let's get into the guts of the video. First of all, we'll have a little pick. So um, there you go. It's a best lock, by the way. Not the best. Uh, the brand best. Seven pin. Pop that down there, try and keep it in focus. So there's the operation key. There you go. That would open your lock. And the control key, keep an eye on that weird little bar in between the two cores. There you go. That is your control key. Do that and you can pull them out of the lock. Stick a screwdriver in and get in. So let me know in the comments what these are for. Um, timing this is very optimistic. <laughs> And here we go, um, tension tool, hook, and so it begins. Now I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, 
well, I know how to pick locks. <laughs> You've seen the SPP plenty of locks, but think about what we've got to deal with here. Essentially, there's two shear lines. Yeah, yeah, there really is. Not only are there two shear lines, what am I picking? What am I setting? Am I setting the operation pins? Or am I setting the control pins? So, you know, I'm doing what I usually do. I'm having a feel about and I'm, I'm looking for binders and I'm setting them. But, you know, with seven pins, I've got 14 key pins, really, if you want to look at it like that. And what if I set four control pins and three operation pins? That's not, that's not going to do anything, is it? <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Uh, this, is, this is just guesswork. I'm just seeing if I can do something. I am feeling certain similarities in some pin stacks. And uh, there you go, I've picked it to control. Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes, five seconds. So I picked, you can see that bar's gone in there. It's just come out. So I picked it to control. So I could remove that, that, that plug from the lock, stick a screwdriver in and gain access. But I do have the magic of Lishi. This is a BE2-7. Um, I would guess this will be a little bit quicker. But again, you know, um, what am I picking? Uh, I mean, maybe I mean, it doesn't actually add more security because if you can pick to control, you can take the blooming thing out. <laughs> blooming. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. <laughs> so, again, I'm dealing with two shear lines and uh, two... Two pinnings, two bittings, sorry. So what I usually do, go through, make sure that the pins do line up and that this leashy is appropriate for this lock and they it is. So that's a stroke of luck. And then usual capers, see if I'm getting any binding like I am there. Looking for set bounce as well, which is the beauty of uh, these leashy pin cylinder picks they are you get you know it's me there doing that little bounce so you know you just keep going back through them but where what am I gonna get I'm thinking that I'm I'm thinking that as with the SPP I'm gonna pick this to control because logic would suggest and you know uh, that there you go look I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna be what? Well, 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 legendary. One minute twenty. Not much quicker, but <laughs> certainly quicker for you. You're going to be setting that first key pin, aren't you? Rather than um, the second lot. That would seem to make sense. So let's cut this thing open and actually see what's going on and here you go there it is that is pin seven that's the pin the seventh pin stack I took the back off and the actuator that's your plug your main plug so to speak but if I just nudge that out there's your secret second SFIC Bible now I've coloured that in red for the cross section that you'll see in a minute. But it's a very, I think this is over engineered. I don't think it functions. Let me know in the comments what I'm missing because surely they didn't go to all this trouble for not very much. But companies do, they, they want to, you know, they need to, they need to have something new, a novelty. Um, I understand there's hierarchical master key systems and it might be good for you to be able to easily change the core with a control key. But, you know, good Lord. It seems like a, a lot of faffing for very little response. So you can see how that moves. 
uh, to control and then you nudge that back in and you can see how you could slip that out of the housing just pop that back in there okay well we'll pop that back in there and let's go to the money shot let's get this in advice get the pins in it and be legendary if you are new to the channel go to the cross section playlist because that's what we we're unique in that department we do this so there notice the red section i colored that in uh, there's a normal driver pin there there's a red i colored that in that's your control um, pin and there's your standard key pin uh, there's a couple of black lines at the top they'll make sense in a minute that's a tension wrench sticking out the right hand side and now i'm gonna pop my pick in so this is the seventh pin you're looking at and to pick it to open you just have to do that you just have to set the bottom two pins get them out of the core basically which isn't that difficult only took me two minutes on my first attempt that you saw a minute ago and the driver pin is stopping the control moving and the main core is free to move now here's where it gets a little bit more interesting to pick to control you're essentially oversetting the key pin look at this one go <laughs> please they are into the control area and then when you uh, your, your your tension that brings in that red control section and you've uh, you've picked it to control notice that red that black line has changed and that one has changed because the control section has all turned and then i just flip that and you can see that you can see those light black lines at the top the sort of inner core the inner sanctum i like to call it and that is your small format interchangeable core well i hope you learned something from that i hope you enjoyed it if i'm missing something about these locks let me know in the comments you know as i've i've been honest since the beginning i know very little about them i thought i'd have a fiddle <laughs> steady and uh i cut it open and found out something learned something uh, and i thought i'd share that with you now here's the massive channel announcement i'm going to start a membership program it's only going to cost you about a cup of coffee a month and every month i'm going to do a live lock picking legend a stream where you can come in you can talk in the chat you can talk to me you can talk to each other you can come on the stream and join me we can have a right laugh we can talk about lock picking we can talk about experiences picking locks experiences locksmithing we can talk about anything you want it will be a nice community and we'll certainly have a laugh Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, that would be lovely. And look after yourselves. Ta-da!